see. All right, here we go. So this is, oh, this is actually Flacco's uh, video. Uh, Flacco from No Jumper. Uh, this video is entitled, He's Back with Really Bad News. Or drama. Now, when Aaron first went viral for saying you ain't qualified queen on Pop the Balloon, Aaron was met with scamming allegations, <laughs> stalking allegations. They, they weren't allegations. He was doing all of this. Let's, there is actual evidence that he was doing all of this. Let's just call a spade a spade be father allegations just a whole lot of drama and stress that i personally don't know how he dealt with it because i can't deal with that much stress in my life bro i like to live a stress-free life and a drama-free life which is why like i make videos that don't engage in youtube beef right mm -hmm. so he had to deal with all of that right he eventually overcame it now Aaron sort of disappeared for a while and we will see him in wild outings like you know him trying to pick up a cop it was really cringe or him in Vegas trying to pick up a warrior. It was really cringe. Hey, I need an officer's help right now. I'm having a conflict. I'm having a conflict. Yeah, I, I need you to arrest me right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I'm having a conflict. Yeah, I, I need you to arrest me right now. Oh, Officer, no. come on. It's kind of hard to speak. It's kind of, it, it's kind of hard. This is... The amount of cringe... I'm I'm having a conflict, officer. You need to arrest me. You need to arrest me. I'm having a conflict. Yo. That is the First of all, this woman is on the clock. She is working. She is in her uniform, bro. And you trying to pick her up with corny pickup lines? That might have been top 10 corny. Corniest pickup line that I ever heard before in my life. It's like, what, she's never heard heard of that before? Like, has that ever worked for you, bro? I'm just, what would make him even try? And also, what's even cringier about this, he's doing all of this with a fucking camera pointed right at her face. Woo, boy. And TJ, and he posted it. And he posted it. Exactly. I never understood this down bad Hall of Fame approach. I, like, I've seen a couple of dudes do it, but I never quite understood it. Like, what are you looking to accomplish here? Like, certainly you're not expecting for a female cop who's currently on duty to see you with your camera Mad in her face, give her compliments, and for her to say, oh, my What's up, God. Daisy? Oh, oh. Yo, I've never heard a compliment like this before ever, bro. Like, yo, I've never heard anybody with this much risk. You want to go to my cop car and you want to bang me out for 30 minutes? Oh, my God. You want my number? Take it. Oh, ignore the camera in my face. Like, what's the point of this? Right? Like, this is just clear harassment. Right? And Aaron, now listen, man. I Listen, I like the guy personally, bro. Right? But the guy, you know, he's cringe, you know? He has, like, an accent, a slur. About, did he say he likes the guy personally? Why? What is what is there to like? Why? I think it's due to him being shot in the face, bro. Right? But he don't come across as a natural wizard. All right? He don't come across as a natural charming ladies man. All right? It <laughs> Yo. sounds like... <laughs> Yo, Rizzard is also cringe. Nigga, what? Rizzard? I hope people are really not saying that, bro. Oh my gosh. Like Aaron watched a couple of movies, read a couple of books, and he's imitating and cosplaying like what he believes is a charming individual. Like this is not <laughs> Pippin or P. I ain't wasting your time. I need you to arrest me. I've been a bad man. A bad <laughs> I've been a bad man. Yo, corny. <laughs> Wait, time. Ninja Turtle Plumber from Pop the Balloon Dating Show. <laughs> 
Ninja Turtle plumber. <laughs> First of all, can you get the can you get out of her personal space? Oh, she looks uncomfortable. I would be too. Can you imagine just having a dude in your person? What's up, Queen? What's how how you doing, Queen? What's up? Hmm? Huh? How you doing? <laughs> And why he why is he standing wide for? Like who the f approaches a woman like that? What's up, Queen? How you doing? You not qualified. Like why are you standing like that, bro? You know what I love about this clip the most? For one, I can't even understand anything that he's saying, but I love, I just absolutely love how uninterested she is. You know what? She, in her head right now, she's probably just thinking this nigga is super drunk. I, 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 I just, do, I just want to be left alone. You can tell. It's literally written all over her face. He did all of that just to tell her that she's not qualified. Can you imagine somebody that has been talking your ear off trying to spit game, even if it's for a clip? How weird would it be for you to just show, like, no interest whatsoever, and then for this nigga to walk off and just to be like, you weren't qualified. Nigga, you wasn't qualified. I wanted you to leave, so you're doing me a favor. What? That's like, that's like you applying for a job, getting denied, and then telling the, and telling the employer that just denied you, well, you wasn't qualified anyway. No, you weren't, which is why I didn't give you the I didn't give you the job. You weren't qualified. This is ass backwards. This man couldn't pull a penny out of a soul. Like no game, no riz, no whatsoever, right? Like this is just cringe to watch. And it's hard in a secondhand embarrassment, right? Because Aaron is walking around like he got game. But nonetheless though, right? Aaron in Vegas harassing women is expected. <laughs> Aaron trying to pick up cops. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to what you just said. Aaron harassing women in Vegas is to be expected. Why? Why is <laughs> that's bad that you expect that from him? That's bad. In the streets is expected. But you know what's not expected, bro? I was not expecting to see Aaron end up on another dating show. So apparently there's this show coming to Zeus called Erica Mena Two-Way, where apparently men and women are competing for her love. <laughs> Oh my god. Erica, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. Congrats. All right, y'all. It's official. It's official. We officially start production on Erica's new dating show. Two ways. Yeah. Two ways. Let's go. Let's Tomorrow. 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 Oh, today. Actually, it's today. Well, yeah, we did a little bit something we started right. we, we set the tone okay started. i i don't even know what they're saying right now because i'm just focused on how long this nigga's face is like his face is longer than the day like y'all know those y'all know those work days that you have where you really don't you really don't have that much to do and it just feels like you've been there for 24 hours that's the type of face that he got like it's just very long i damn this nigga, his face is shaped like a, is shaped like a protective cup. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I let me focus. He has so many ideas, and we about to meet this crazy cast. How do you feel? Do you I'm feel? excited. I feel like we have a beautiful cast that people are gonna absolutely fall in love with. What time out, the, real quick. So, Aaron, time out. Wait, couple things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. 
let me just say this all right i don't know if you guys are aware of what the zeus network is but it's filled with a, a bunch of shows centered around degeneracy that's all that i can tell you like worse than love and hip-hop type shit like just a bunch of degenerate shows with people doing degenerate shit so i'm not surprised that aaron the plumber got employed at zeus network to be on a show i get it i get it what i don't understand <clears throat> it's either it's either one of two things it's either one you didn't do your due diligence and you don't know the type of person that he is so you you decide you decided to hire him on the show without actually like looking into his past knowing that he's a, a scammer and a stalker so there's either that or they know this but they decided to put him on the show anyway because they knew it would get clicks they knew it would get attention both reasons are very bad like very bad because if you guys i refuse to believe that they did not vet these people before actually having them on this sad show i refuse to believe that so if you actually got this man on here for for clips knowing everything that he did and you gave him a platform nah nah this is garbage again pure degeneracy nope Individuals are part of this fantastic cast they can't wait for us to meet is Aaron the Plumber. Now, I don't understand for the likes of me why Aaron would ever want to be a part of another dating show after seeing how much drama and chaos that one dating show have caused to his life. It has to be clout. Like, it has to be attention-seeking, clout-chasing. It has to be, like, this, this, this lust for fame against his best judgment. Because if I went through as much as Aaron went through for being on one dating show, why would I want to be on another? I mean, I agree. And it looks like there's more drama coming his way, this time even worse drama. Aaron would take to social media today, surprise, surprise, to go off on Erica, Mena, and Zeus for painting him in a bad light. Now, he would say... Now, Aaron. Now, Mr. Plumber. Mr. Turtle let's 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 have a conversation shall we okay if you keep going on these dating shows and uh you keep having these discrepancies whatever you want to call it discrepancies um situations instances of where something negative happens maybe you're the common den denominator here have you ever thought about that because it's it's you it's you I'm just saying, maybe you should really re go back and reflect. Maybe you shouldn't go on dating shows in general. But it's just funny. Why does trouble seem to follow you wherever you go? But there's only one common denominator. I just find it so interesting. Like I, And it's even... I don't know what he's going to say. I'm sure Flacco is going to play a clip or something, but I probably won't believe him because he lied so much. He's not credible. That he gave him extreme entertainment. The entire show was made on his Blue back. Blue Eagle facts. Blue Eagle says, I'm sick of making the wrong people famous, bro. I am with you and I agree. He was actually throwing fists and fighting during the show, giving him great entertainment. But then he had to leave because Erica Mena got really disrespectful with him. And apparently the show is now trying to paint him as a transphobe when he's not. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So now I feel like I would like to see the clip. Do I want to pay for this show? Do I want to pay for the Zeus Network? No, because I don't want to support degeneracy of this kind. You know, I'll support other kinds of de degeneracy, whatever the hell that may be. But we'll not be supporting them. I just want to know. I want to see this clip. And also, you talking about them while wearing a fucking Zeus t-shirt is funny. Aaron the Plumber, I got exploited. Looking for love once again. I came on Erica's two ways um, with Erica Mena. I had the show cracking. I was doing some real punching. Hey, yo. You know, and they twisting up. Did this man break his hand? What did you do? They're going to try to twist up the narrative and try to make it seem like I'm transphobic. Um, I'm, I'm emotional and a multitude of other things. That's not true. I left the show 
They want me to come back on the show. I got all the receipts. I don't want to get back on the show because Erica Mena is, in fact, racist towards black men. She been disrespecting black men from day one on that show. People been leaving the show not wanting nothing to do with her because she's so disrespectful. Her mouth. They're going to try to paint me out to be a transphobe. I'm telling y'all ahead of time, I love all people of all creeds. But I but who's trans? Like, I feel like there's so much context that we are missing. Huh. I, I, will, I will agree. Um, Erica Mena has made comments in the past about black men that were not very savory, you know, with all of us. But, um, yeah, I mean, there might be some truth to what he is saying in that regard. But whatever she said to him, I'm willing to bet a $1,000 that this nigga deserved it. I'm not transphobic. I'm not homophobic. Anything. I'm filing charges on Erica Mena right now for assault. Right now. Assault? God. That, yo, what kind of trouble did Aaron get himself into now? He got a broken hand, two broken hands. He's talking about how he had to squabble in the show. He's bringing up trans women and saying how the show is not trying to paint him. What? What kind of trouble? Did Aaron get himself into now? Now, I'm going to say this, though. Aaron is one of those people, bro, where they find chaos. Their entire life I can is see built that. on chaos, and they don't function or feel right unless there's chaos in their life. Because think about it, bro. Why would anybody put themselves in this situation? Now, the now the ex-gang member, you know, the street dude with a slew of, <laughs> of, of criminal charges is now saying that he's pressing charges on Erica Mena. Now, here's the thing with Aaron, and I don't feel like he truly understands like when he comes to the internet with his issues, right? If you're somebody who's constantly involved in drama, if you're somebody who is the one denominator when it comes what, to all the what, drama What did I you, say? Then it's your fault. What the f*** did I say? That's what, There is one common denominator. I say this to people all the time. All the time. Like, maybe you need to look within yourself, bro. If you are constantly bringing attention and trouble to yourself, it's you. It's you. Like, after a while, we got to start pointing at you and say, hey, bro, it can't be everybody else's fault, bro. Like, you can't be the victim in every situation. Like, you can't be the person being victimized in every situation, right? After a while, bro, you have to start looking at yourself and say, yo, why don't I get along with people? Why are people turned off by me? I'm right here at the police department. LA, he got a you go not forward. qualified hat on. This man is really trying to make a social media presence out of being a fucking jackass. This is so interesting. It's just, it's wild though, because you know people are going to follow him and you know people are going to buy his merch. I Guys, I really need to make some merch. George is on Erica Mena or Soul. They're going to try to protect this woman. Uh, the, the, one of the, one of the, these network executives told me out of his own mouth that he got, you know, TMZ and several other companies up under his payroll, and he gonna suppress me from getting my story heard. But my thing to say to this gentleman is, you're gonna suppress a black man, one of your own kind, from letting the truth be heard about him being assaulted after you witnessed that. And Erica Mena has been canceled for calling somebody a blue monkey. That's what she so said. She That's what she said. Right. She did call somebody a monkey. I don't know if it was a blue monkey. First of all, blue monkey is crazy. You know how you know how dark your ass got to be in order to be called a blue monkey? That's wild. Damn. Whoever she said that to, they were blacker than the ace of spades. I do remember <laughs> I do remember her call, her calling somebody a monkey, but I don't remember who it was. But god damn. And been disrespecting black men in front of your face. And that's something you support. That's something you support. That's something your network supports. Bro, I'm not going for that. I'm standing on business behind this one. At this point, it's the same storyline. Why is it always a conspiracy with Aaron? Why is it always, yo, they're colluding against me. Yo, this executive is saying that he's going to work with TMZ and the higher ups to make sure my story is suppressed. Huh? Yo, it's always something, bruh. Right now, I'm sure followers and fans of Aaron is going to make another million excuses as to why Aaron is the victim in the, in the Zeus fall 
and you know, is Arletta's fault? Is Erica Mena's she fault? She called it's- Spice. Oh, the Jamaican singer a blue monkey because she had on a blue wig. But why she? Why does she have to call her a monkey though? Like, I'm gonna have to look into that. Like, cause wh- I forgot why she called her a monkey. Is Lenny's fault? Right, is everybody else's fault but Aaron? Aaron isn't, you know, the one who keeps putting himself in these situations, bro. Aaron isn't the one who just don't get along with people well, bro. Right, Aaron just, listen, Aaron was at a nightclub in Scottsdale. Breaking all their rules, taking off his shirt, being hell of aggressive, throwing money, and they kicked him out, you know, for breaking all their rules, right? You know, and not Blue being. Blue Eagle, fun fact, uh, Erica Mena is actually the love interest in Chris Brown's uh, Yo video. Yo, is Rick Ross for Yo, Rick Ross was hating on me. When Rick Ross had nothing to do with it. This is a recurrent theme. He's filing a police report now after a second dating show. And you know what? Guess what? I can almost guarantee you he's going to be on another dating show all right, probably next month. Please and don't. that's not going to go well. And it's going to be, oh, it's the dating show fault. And all his fans are going to say, no, it's their fault as well. It's not Aaron's fault. Yo, this is sad, yo. Yo, after a while, after you reach a certain age, man, like, bro, like, like, all of this, all of this is just dumb. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? And if you're still watching, man, click on the video somewhere on my screen. I agree. This is dumb. I can't imagine, yo, I am, I just turned 30 in May. I can't imagine acting like this. I can't. Um, I love to stay out of the way. And I just like being, I like being in the house. Like, I like making content. I like gaming. Like, I got shit to do. I got bills to pay. I don't want to be out here in these streets just doing dumb shit. For what? Like, gosh, that shit sound exhausting. The shit that people will do for clout and fame is actually crazy.